So <laughs> here's the thing. I've been hearing rumors about this Lemon 8. No, not Lemonade, Lemon 8. You know, the app that's been hiding in the shadows ready to replace TikTok at any moment. Now, I was going to go and do a bunch of research on Lemonade, make a video about it because people are talking about it, and I'm trying to grow a YouTube channel here. And apparently that's what you do. You make videos about what people are talking about. Oh boy. <sighs> But in all honesty, you guys, I have been feeling so damn tired lately. We're just gonna hear what Gabby Bell has to say about Lemonade. I love her commentary videos on YouTube. Her video is probably at least 10 times better than any video that I would have been able to scrap together. And I'm a lazy creator. Let's get into it. We all remember Mark Zuckerberg's painful congressional hearing, and recently TikTok CEO was put under the same treatment, with the same awful out-of-touch questions being asked by actual dinosaurs. So if I have a TikTok app on my phone, and my phone is on my home Wi-Fi network, does TikTok access that network? You guys, that TikTok hearing was one of the most painful things I have ever watched. I don't think a single person in that room has used TikTok. It was hilarious. And they're trying to ask questions about TikTok. And then you got questions like these. Does TikTok access the Wi-Fi? Yes, Bob, it does. America has been itching to loosely ban TikTok for a few years now. It's already banned in India, Afghanistan, banned on government phones in Australia, Canada, New Zealand, Norway, Netherlands, and so on. TikTok's controversial existence stems from the Chinese company's security concerns, spying on journalists, and knowing that you secretly like to watch girls dancing on your For You page. Weirdo. But essentially, Western governments are concerned that Chinese authorities could force ByteDance to hand over TikTok data on American users, exposing sensitive information. I feel like a news anchor right now. That is literally how I felt. So I have also made a TikTok, well, I've also made a YouTube video about the TikTok ban and that whole time while I was recording that video, I felt exactly like a news anchor. And I'm not sure how I felt about it. So ByteDance, the parent company, softly launched this other app called Lemon 8 in 2020. Now it's speculative, but people think they launched this app to achieve success and have another avenue around TikTok bans, at least in the West and countries that have banned it. My sister called me the other day and asked me if I had downloaded Lemon 8. I told her, what is Lemonade? Is that a drink? Some sort of grocery delivery app? She said, no, Lemon 8. You never heard of it? I said no. I never heard of any app called Lemonade. Eventually, I understood that the app is called Lemon 8, and that it's a new app by TikTok's parent company, ByteDance. Or is it? What's spooky about this app is that regulatory filings and media sources suggest it's owned by Beijing-based ByteDance. Like, the App Store has its developer listed as Singapore-based Heliophilia PTE, which sounds like a terminal illness in The Last of Us. But Singapore's company <laughs> registry shows that Heliophilia is located at the same address as TikTok's local headquarters. See, this is why I love her, because I have heard rumors that like people go, they download Lemonade, they're like, oh my gosh, they're freaking out because TikTok's gonna get banned. And so they go, they get a profile on Lemonade, and then everyone's like, oh, it's literally the same company that owns TikTok. But there's no one going in and doing like actual research. And I love that she's taking the extra step to like do research and like see where these companies are located. And that one of them is named Heliophilia. Hel hel heliophilia? Hel heliophilia? Whatever. <laughs> And it lists Zhao Kin, sorry for the pronunciation, a Singapore citizen as its director. The news agency Routers, don't worry, I've never heard of Routers either until just now, reported last year that Lemon 8 is overseen by Alex Zhu, senior vice president of product and strategy at ByteDance, and former CEO of TikTok. When asked, Lemon 8 and ByteDance didn't respond to requests for comments, so- of course. That's not sketchy at all. Okay, so who cares? Whatever. <laughs> what is Lemon 8? Its marketing says it's a content sharing platform with a youthful community. Hello, fellow kids. It's basically a cross between Instagram and Pinterest, or so what Google tells me that Lemon 8 is. The app lets users make longer blog type posts with videos and pictures about whatever you want. Lifestyle, cooking, travel, overall being a girl boss, basically. But let's dive in and make a profile, sell my information to China once again, and see what's going on in there. 
Gabby's really taking one for the team, so we don't have to. Okay, so obviously this app is already like kind of catering towards young women. Sorry, boys. No lemonade for you. That's kind of what the news outlets have been reporting as well, and you can definitely see that with it asking you your interests right away. Fashion, makeup, skincare, food, wellness, bag. Just a singular bag at a bio. It kind of looks like TikTok, at least your profile layout. While there are similarities to TikTok, unlike its counterpart, Lemon 8 does not support vertical video scrolling. Instead, everything is kind of laid out like it's a grid. Ugh. It literally just looks like Pinterest. Oh, sh Strawberry crunch poke cake? Yeah, you can poke my taste buds. Add to collection? Oh, okay, so yeah, this is kind of like Pinterest where you have boards, Pinterest boards, you can save things to certain categories on your profile. Yummy, yummy, yum, 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 yum. <laughs> OMG, looks amazing. Well, that's delicious. Interesting. Are these bots? <laughs> Here's comments. an interesting comment about the overstimulation of Instagram and TikTok and how people are basically gravitating towards Lemon 8 because it's kind of still photo based and not like a scrolling vertical TikTok feed, AKA what Instagram used to be. After browsing all the yummy, yummy content on here, I'm truly wondering if these are real people and real creators and not weird AI generated posts and people because True. everything looks same, same, but different. According to this Bloomberg article, Lemon 8 has actually been paying influencers in the UK to post on the app, which makes sense as that would help get the app off the ground and have influencers influence people to download it. By the way, follow me. I'm at Gabby Bell on there. Tell me more about TikTok's algorithm. And now she has a sponsored section, but since we're not getting paid, we're gonna skip through. The app is clearly targeting a young female audience with its content categories, fashion, beauty, food, wellness, bag, nail, but it <laughs> nail. seems like that's their initial catch and they'll plan to become more widely used for more young audiences like TikTok. Since what's also interesting is that Lemon 8 utilizes the same recommendation engine that powers TikTok. Oh, and TikTok's recommendation algorithm is insane. That's why it's such a successful platform is because it is so good at recommending content to us. I think probably better than any other platform at the moment. That's what makes it really good. So that could be a reason why Lemonade really succeeds. Right now, the app is kind of just filled with perfectly curated influencer content, which I guess is kind of what Pinterest has become anyway. So I'm not sure how this will bode for just more casual posting and as an app that kind of feels like it will include everyone. Like, I don't know, the the appeal of Instagram at its beginning was that everyone could post on it. You didn't, it didn't have to be perfectly edited or anything. And now it's kind of become like an influencer money thing. I do sponsored posts on there, but you know. <laughs> You know what I mean though? <laughs> Gabby, I do know what you mean because that's one of the reasons that I've never really like loved Instagram is because I felt like to post, you had to have these like perfect photos, perfect poses and the locations. I definitely see some people kind of drifting away from that and they're posting more just like realistic photos and not all of these photo shoot elements. But TikTok has always been that place where you could just go make random videos, cringy videos, and there's like a space for that. It doesn't have to be this like perfectly curated content while there's still elements of that on the app. That's not the essence of what TikTok is. And that's what one thing that's really drawn me to TikTok and kept me around is because I can post videos without worrying about them being like this perfect masterpiece. I know I'm part of that, but I still post things that are imperfect and just me like posting on there. I don't know if Lemon 8 has posting potential. And that's what I look for in an app. Even though I don't really use TikTok, it's got posting potential. I'd say it's even pretty good at it. Lemon 8, 
I'm not sure. Its ties with ByteDance might just have it end up being scrutinized True. the same as TikTok. This is like ByteDance coming back to the same house twice on Halloween, but this time wearing a wearing glasses and a mustache. It seems like they're eager to replicate the massive success of TikTok by getting Lemon 8 into Western audiences. Like I said earlier, they launched Lemon 8 back in 2020, mm. but that was primarily in Japan. But it saw 5 million monthly active users worldwide in 2020 and was launched in multiple territories like Singapore and Indonesia, according to the New York Times. But now we're seeing it quietly launch on Western app stores and allegedly they're going to make a big marketing push in May. So we'll see. It already has over 650,000 downloads in the US. Make that 650,000 and one with my download. Again, follow me at Gabby Bell so I can have clout on another platform. And 17 million downloads globally. All right, follow me on these apps, whatever, so I can get more Instagram sponsorships or whatever. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you think of Lemon 8 in the comments. I'm really curious because I never heard of this app until my sister called me about it. But she's also in the tech world and I'm Gen Z also in the tech world and I'm delusional. Goodbye. I'm curious what the comments are on this video. I'm glad we have so many more bag enthusiasts in the community. It felt so niche these days. Lemon 8 seems like one of those websites you'd come across while desperately looking for free sewing patterns. That's fair. I was actually looking through the app's reviews. While people seem to like the idea behind it, it appears to have a lot of basic issues. For instance, people seem to be struggling to complete their profile setup and they have their posts taken down because of that. I'm living in Japan and have seen this app advertised like, see what you'd look like with this hair color generator. So to find out that this is what that app is, is a shock to say the least. I'm intrigued by Lemon 8, I love Pinterest, but its algorithm sucks ass. Lemonade seems like a really good mesh between the TikTok influencer aesthetic and the functionality of Pinterest and Instagram. So there you guys go. What are your guys' thoughts on Lemonade? Have you tried it? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing, but please, Make it a priority to go over and subscribe to Gabby. She's awesome and she carried us through this video. Thank you guys again for watching and I will catch you on the next one. Bye dudes.